Good morning, it's November 2nd, 2018. Today's video is on Canada's assisted dying law. It's been in effect, I think, for the last two years. Um, now, this is a very personal issue, I think, for a lot of people. Um, and all I ask is that people, uh, whoever watches this, be respectful of everybody's um, opinion on this. It's either, you know, um, I think people are going to agree with um, this law or not. Uh, and people who don't, usually it's for religious reasons or they have their own personal uh, reason for uh, not approving of it. Now, I'm uh, of the thing, I'm glad it's an, I, glad, I am glad we have that law. Now, personally, if... I got terminally ill and was going to suffer or if I got um, a real um, bad uh, disease like ALS, I think it's called Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, I Now, I don't want to suffer like that. I would sooner um, be helped to, to end my life. Now, um, this woman just died on Thursday with assisted um, assisted dying, and she said that the what she didn't like about this law was that at the time you give your final consent, you have to be mentally um, capable of making that decision, and she said. Um, she was going to die earlier than what she wanted because she uh, now she had cancer and I think it was either a brain tumor or brain cancer I'm not sure but sh she said um, she wasn't going to take the chance that at the end she might not be uh, able to make that decision whether through the illness or because of pain medication so uh, she was dying earlier than what she really wanted to so she wanted that part of the law changed. And I agree with her. I think, yes, um, as long as when you apply, you are per perfectly capable of making that decision. Um, I'm sure you would have to go through a whole series of tests. I'm sure you'd have a lot of papers to sign. I think that at the time you apply now if down the road some you know you did become incapacitated that they would or not incapacitated maybe so much but you wanted to you know end your life um but they didn't think at that time you were medically um or mentally able to make that decision i think there should be a way they can as long as you agreed to it when you were first applied for it and were able to make that decision for yourself. Um, <clears throat> now, like I said, there's people for religious beliefs or personal reasons aren't going to agree with this. And, and I respect that. Um, and, um, and I like, I like to hear different people's opinions. Uh, sometimes, you know, it kind of gives you open, you, you know, I have an open mind and it gives me an idea of what other people are thinking. Sometimes I even change my mind on a subject if I think one way and someone gives me a good reason that, um, you know, to look at a different way, I might change my mind and that's good. This, um, at least the way it is, I'm never going to say never because I learned the hard way not to say never, say never. Um, I got bit a few times on that one. Um, but right now, I firmly believe um, we should have that right. And now, uh, I'm not making this video to change anybody's mind on that. And and uh, I don't think people are going to change mine on this one as well. <clears throat> at least not at this time. So, um, what are your thoughts on, on um, the assisted living law? And do you have one in the states? I think in some states you do. If I'm not, I think I heard Colorado at least has it. Um, but anyways, um, give me your thoughts on that, and uh, we'll talk to you later.